It's August, and blackberry season has come early to our part of the world. I started noticing a few patches here and there on our usual walks, and then suddenly, the bramble that had once annoyed me was bursting with these beautiful dark berries. I find foraging to be a very rewarding activity. Not only does it provide a free source of nutritious food, but it allows me the opportunity to be out in nature with a purpose. Ouch. Make sure you watch out for thorns. It's still pretty early in the season, unusually early actually, for the berries to be this far along, but most of the good ones are still up pretty high. The good ones. I keep being surprised by this little town that we live in. The seasons are mild but distinct, and every week there is something new to enjoy. These blackberries are located in the nature reserve behind the town's castle. It's becoming my favorite place to be. My husband and I joke and call it our backyard because it's only a couple minutes from our home and we find ourselves here almost every day. We ended up finding way more berries than I was expecting to this early in the season. So we set off home with our harvest to make something sweet. Obviously, the first step to doing anything with wild foraged food is to give it a good rinse. My father scared me with stories of bugs and harvest mites from the berries, and although he was probably just teasing, I made extra sure that these were as clean as possible. I decided to make jam. And I've never made jam in my whole life, so this is definitely not a tutorial. In fact, it might be a tutorial on what not to do. I looked up a simple recipe online that required only the berries, sugar, and a little bit of lemon juice. I love to cook, and I love to get my hands dirty when I cook. And honestly, there are best God-given tools in the kitchen anyway, and I found this extremely satisfying. Once I had the berries fully coated in sugar, I left them in the fridge overnight. I resumed my jam making adventure the next afternoon. The sugar had mostly dissolved into the berries and I honestly could have stopped here and just poured this over a sponge cake or over some yogurt and been completely satisfied. But I really had my heart set on making some jam. So I added the lemon juice and put the mixture on the stove. I really wish I had something other than just a metal spoon right now. I need to go buy one. The foam on top is just air escaping the fruit. 
But for the best texture and clarity in your jam, it's best to skim it off. I'm adding a little bit of butter to help dissolve the rest of the foam. Once the jam had finished cooking, I let it cool off a little bit, and then it was ready to go in my jars. I am not a baker by any means, so I found this extremely satisfying that I was able to do this with relative success. It's still only my first attempt, so next time I think I will try to remove the seeds, or mix in some apples so the jam will set even better than it did this time. It ended up being really tasty, tangy, and not too sweet, and I gave these little jars to some family members. Now, even though I really liked our jam, I'm not the biggest breakfast gal. So I wanted to do something a little bit different with the jam than just letting it go to waste on toast. So now I'm making some jam tarts. I'm following a recipe from the cookbook my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas. She is a fantastic baker, so I'm definitely keen to follow the same recipes that she uses. The first time I ever had a jam tart was at my husband's family home, and I was blown away. My mother-in-law laughed at me because she said it's just what she makes with leftover pastry. It's not really meant to be the star of the show. But I've always loved them, and there's just something special about them that I'm hoping to recreate today. After putting in all this hard work for the jam and the tarts, I was pretty nervous to see how they were going to come out. But to my surprise, they turned out pretty okay. They're definitely not up to my mother-in-law's standards, but I'll take it as a major win for a first attempt. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and this is just something I would do even if I wasn't making a video. If you want to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram. I post on my stories almost every day, and it's a great place to see my photography as well. Thanks again for joining me on this endeavor. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.